Hello, hello, hello. 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 Welcome back to the Sin and Tonic and Whiskey no tonic. podcast, no, no. but not really today. <coughs> I found an article that came across. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, and it is from the whiskeywash.com blog. Five pretentious techniques for nosing your whiskey that actually work. <laughs> Can I help you in any way? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Of course we had to try these because as I figured I'd share some of my favorite nosing techniques that might help you appreciate your whiskey. This is certainly not an exhaustive list. You probably have your own way of enjoying it. If anything, this is the tip of the iceberg covering the many varied and wonderful methods people use for nosing. You may and will look ridiculous using some of these, but sometimes sacrifices must be made. It's gonna look ridiculous, we have to do it. Mm -hmm. Also, we should mention that we never do any of this. We mm -hmm. enjoyed sampling and drinking lots of different scotches and whiskeys and we go mm, pee yeah. I, mean, I, I have gotten about. more into smelling it before I drink it yeah but I don't do it as farts I don't do it he doesn't drink as farts yeah I drink some men uh oh Let's get started in no particular order. Jamie has the Ardbeg Anoa, which is one of our favorites. So Jeremy, do you want to explain the glass? Oh, well, I mean, you know, I've always been told that the best way to get the the uh, scent of a whiskey is to have it in like a tulip style glass so that uh, the aroma sort of collects down there and that you can get a good uh, sniff off of. But you can see we're kind of foregoing that with this setup. Yeah, we're, we're uh, With kind the of exception like of the Ardbeg uh, gift yeah, class. That came with the a set. So I have, I believe it's pronounced Bunahabin. Bunahabin. Bunahabin? I, Bunahabin. We've been making uh, up different names for it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bunahabin in Ile, single malt scotch whiskey. I don't know if I've tried this yet. I think I've just opened it and went, mm -hmm. okay. And you have? I got this uh, Lafroy, uh, this you know pretty uh, classic. I think everybody kind of knows this one. And you can get it anywhere. Pretty, pretty much anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, I mean almost. The Bunaven is a little harder to find. It's you get ten whiskey up. drinkers, they'll pronounce that bottle ten different ways. Yeah, ten ways. different ways. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing Lafroy. it right. Lafroy. But yeah. you can get this pretty much anywhere. I think every state has. Somewhere this there's whiskey the... snobs that they see this and we like they're saying and doing everything. And we don't wrong. care. And we because don't care because we're drinking it. Gentlemen, start your bottles. <laughs> Oh, They're all quirky okay, bottles. Okay, yeah, quirky. Uh, yeah, please buy your whiskeys with quirky bottles, <laughs> not screw tops. <laughs> <laughs> Unscrew <laughs> your. We have to do a cheap ass whiskey. Like that Stay was the other one I wanted. We to don't do. have Stay any cheap whiskey. Right? Right? That's don't. the problem. That's the thing. So we're doing these. Okay. So how much should we put in? Just put a really taste. You. Just okay. put a oh. taste in there. Oh, okay. Well, I put. A little bit. Well, that's fine. Did you? I figure we'll pass oh, them around. Well, uh, really? Yeah. Okay, so this first one, one is called means. the Chipmunk. <laughs> Start with lots of little gentle sniffs warming up your nose. Then open your mouth slightly, do an 80% nose breath, 20% mouth breath as you continue with the sniffing. I'm this allows. Lost. This allows the aromas to circulate through your nose and mouth. You should be able to taste the smell, so to speak. You I'm start not like. Mouth breathe, if mouth. you're if you're already lost, believe me, it does not get easier with this list. Oh, <laughs> it kind of. Now this no, is something that no, I. No, you're breathing. Your mouth breathing. You, that's eighty twenty for me. Yeah. Okay. This is something that I've always heard with smelling anything is to open your open mouth. Open your mouth a little bit. Yeah, so yeah. it circulates. What you want is it to circulate from your nose to your mouth. And I, I did. I could taste the... Yeah, yeah. It's weird because if you... With this, I can actually almost taste it in the back of my yeah. throat. This is going in so the wrong direction. This gives greater control of the circulation of the whiskey aroma. Okay. Sure. So the next one is number two, Edward Whiskey Hands. Okay. I didn't make up these names. Okay. Pour just a couple drops of the whiskey onto your hands, rub your hands together, and spread the whiskey around, then smell your hands. I've heard about this one, Yeah, too. I have too. And this okay. is the... Let's not spill it everywhere. Is this the smell my finger technique? Yeah, this is... You can do the... Thing. This is the... Uh, yeah, this is the... I found a flaw in this plan already. Right. I'll tell you in a second. I, I have a. I mean, if you're if you're because, smoking a cigar or a cigarette, this is not going to work. I we can call this Scottish right. aftershave. Yeah. <laughs> See, the the thinking behind this is that it mixes it with hey, the smell of your body, drunk. and that that like, it's sort of like. It does smell different than in the glass, though. But yeah, I smell it says now it says. <laughs> 
I smell hand lotion. Mm -hmm. Here's a tip. Yeah. Don't put on hand well, lotion this, or hand that's sanitizer I don't think before this, you do this. I don't think that this one works this just one, for the everyday drinking. I think no, if you were really trying to is, dig yeah. into some liquor and find a bunch of new stuff in it, this might work. Yeah. Okay, I will tell you, like, mm. I smell a different scent from doing you that do. than I do in the glass. You do. It's but, interesting. But keep in mind that I, I really yeah. think if you were sitting but around it, smoking a cigar or oh, if, if you, you smoke have cigarettes, smoked cigarettes or, or, well, like, that, so it's scented, so it totally... Mm -hmm. Fucks Messes up it stuff. up. Yeah. That being said, uh, this one is, uh, there's an impractical side of this too, which is that like, and I guess it's not that big a deal, but if you're going into, uh, you know, sniffing a glass of new whiskey, um, you're going to have to save that one for the very end. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, um, yeah. So. I mean, well, yeah, these in order, I mean, you, you know. So you... these are really about like getting every last like little bit of so, uh, scent. So different information yeah uh, different uh, approaches to yeah. different yeah right or you can be like me and just start thinking from the beginning um but uh i i thought so i thought uh i thought they were pretty i thought they Here, were smell, bad you, would you like to oh smell sure would i be the yeah so so or, yeah mm. let me see. oh there's still whiskey in it yeah yeah just knock it back yeah. Yeah, smell like this. So, I think you heard about the savoring thing. Yeah. <laughs> so for full out practicality, I, 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 I would. I, so Edward Whiskey hands garbage. We tier. Don't like yeah. Yeah, I, and also yeah. with everybody using hand sanitizer yeah, now, yeah. that's gonna totally yeah. mess up the whole experience. I understand and, that yeah. there's some people that have tasted every mm -hmm. single part well, of whiskey that are gonna get something extra out of that one. Whatever. Also, even if you with all garbage. the with all the hand washing and the yeah. hand sanitizing, yeah, yeah I um, agree. And you you and, wash your hands, you're gonna have soap smell, right? You're and everything else. Smell, and, 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 Hey, yeah. hey, if you hey. ate something, you might even yeah, have you, like onion oh, yeah, smell or food. something. Yeah. Yep. Or anyways, so your whiskey tastes like pastrami. Yes, <laughs> I'm you. never that far away from pastrami. Okay, All right, so starting over. All right, from at, three. From the French technique, you start at belly button or tummy level and do small sniffs. And you want to stop when you first get a... Uh... Okay, I'm right here. Once As you again, sniff, slowly the raise... the way to get a belly level. Slowly raise mm. up to nose, towards face. The moment you smell anything from the glass, bring in another one to two inches, and then stop. You're aiming for a somewhat awkward, but not too far distance between nose and glass. If you smell any kind of alcohol smell or your nose stings, it's too close. You should feel nothing but gentle aromas. I mean, I... It's I do. I'm like down here. I can smell like crazy. Yeah, it definitely does. All, like a lot of these are about killing the uh, the alcohol, alcohol smell and yeah. just picking up. Yeah, the and I think this one does work. That's how you kill the alcohol. Smell. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't tasted mine, yeah. and he's asking yeah, he's most of it. Half in the bag. So Would anyway, you like a refill, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Number four is the duck face for nosing whiskey. So when actually puckering your lips, make sure you flare your nostrils by trying to extend your upper lip as horizontally as you can, opposed to a straight up pucker like a kiss. So it's not... But that doesn't seem... But he can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now sniff. Now sniff, no, but sniff. But sniff. <laughs> um. <laughs> Because of your flared nostrils, the aromas become more intense. I recommend putting a little more distance between your nose and glass than usual here. Be aware you most certainly will not look like a model doing this. But see, are you sure they're not talking about this? No, it says don't pucker. Oh. Yeah, look, like you did. Oh, God, it does make it a lot stronger. I can feel it in my eyeballs. Right, hold on, I can't even. Try to go like this. I don't want to. That, one, uh, that reminds me of the thing when they say roll your tongue and people are like, I can't roll my tongue. That's just a ploy to get like, watch. Okay, anyway, so this is the best one. Mm -hmm. The parting glass. In general, I don't recommend sticking your nose in the glass when nosing. The alcohol is the most volatile compound in there and will end up stinging your nose, which is unpleasant. Mm -hmm. I don't find it unpleasant. No, I don't find it unpleasant. However, once you finish drinking the whiskey, the harsh <laughs> alcoholic aromas are gone. You can stick your nose in the empty glass, take as many deep breaths as you want. The remnants of your dram will provide a different, completely oh, different yeah. set of aromas, giving you a special chance to keep enjoying your whiskey, even if it's... If That's it's better than mixed paper. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
Well, yeah, See, that's yeah. it. That does hit pretty hard. This yeah. is if you just want to smell the alcohol and no. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so we have to drink it all so we can sniff the empty oh, okay. glass. All right. Okay, bottoms up. Mm, salute. I mean, we really should have finished glasses. So I feel like we're wasting good whiskey here. That hurts. You know how much whiskey I have? We can waste some whiskey for the sake of art mm. and YouTube. And... I've been drinking the whole time. Okay, so what does everybody smell and taste with theirs? Well, I mean, right now I just basically taste like I just banged down a shot of, yeah. of old granddad. All three of these are... are uh, Our peaty, malty. Peaty, yeah. Um, yeah. So Very smoky. Smoke. We're fans of smoky, peaty. Um, I would say that Enoa, to me, uh, having tasted all three of them, Enoa to me is probably the smokiest than this, and then this is on the lighter side. A dog just walked into the shot and farted, yeah. and yeah. <laughs> my whiskey has lovely sense of pit bull fart. That's the crop dusting <laughs> technique taste. The, yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> she, she walked right in front of you. So. Another tip, <laughs> no hand lotion. Wait, hold on. I, I have a solution for this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. Okay, so all right, oh, oh. we gotta kill these so that we can smell uh, our. Mine's gone. Or while, they're, oh. while they're doing that, I prefer the technique I call the Jack Palance, which is basically Palance or Palance, depending on. I think you're thinking of pirates and Palance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you basically make a big face. You go. Take a deep breath in, drink it, and then go. <sighs> You make it look good, but I, I know it's You look like a pirate. It's yeah. the Jacqueline's. Um, oh, all right. My glass is killed. He's pretentious. Mm -hmm. Mine is too. Okay. All right, so oh. it's a... Oh. Okay. Mm. Dog fart. Mm. Now, see, this works because, I mean... Yeah, it does. This is The getting, alcohol smells yeah, gone. This is getting... All, yeah, all the alcohol smells gone. Mm -hmm. You're definitely smelling things that that were, were obscured. Everything is right <laughs> up front. I'm back here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, everything's right up front. Like all Whiskey of, tasting uh, with farting dogs. Yeah, all of the smoky smell. So, um, uh, the French technique was, was not, not bad, so bad, but I mean, that bad. one, yeah. And the French yeah. are always making shit up. This yeah. one was actually yeah, I mean, good. Yeah, you know, even yeah. with the empty yeah. glass, if you go. Yeah. yeah. This one's easy to kind of do without, I you like know, that. you're not yeah. going to look too stupid doing this one. Or you can do it's a wonderful life thing, and if you're drinking too much, you tie the scarf around this hand this way, and then you do the French technique like this and just. Like <laughs> yeah. this, wait. Wait. Yeah. Uh, uh, it all works on many levels. Um, duck face. It did work for getting, a, for like opening those nasal passages. The only thing is, is that's probably the douchiest one of them all. That's and that the one's most pretentious. Yeah, yeah the that most one is going to make you so look the most. That's pretension level 10. It's more douche face the, yeah. than duck face. Yeah, yeah. more douche face the than duck face. The chipmunk one is a bad. When no, you it's pretty up. standard uh, fare. Yeah. yeah. I think you could get away with that yeah. pretty easily. Um, when you open your mouth and you breathe. So what you want to do is it's almost like a circular breathing right. where you're inhaling through your nose and you're tasting, you know, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it did work well. And parting glass definitely will get new smells out of that. I would pick that one over Edward Whiskey Hands for yeah. getting those residual smells. Yep. I would say that the most practical technique that really actually kind of ditched the alcohol smell and got better smells was the French technique. And it's yeah. I think it's easy to do. And it'd be easy to do tasting whiskey and nobody uh, would really care. Um, and you don't May May you we. don't look like a pretentious douche. Yeah, so like, but it's got the most pretentious name. And you know what? It does really. I, it smells. No, I have it's, the Anoa now in my glass, and even though now I have residuals of this in my glass, but sure. I can, it still smells different. Yeah. Oh, by the way, why did you why did you put a glass of water on the table? Okay, so here? what we're gonna do, and this isn't on this list, but I think I, like a lot of people. A lot know of this. people know this. And this is some the, people don't. So. Yeah, that's true. And this Wait, is. I didn't hard. know it until I started getting into these. Well, that doesn't surprise me. This has been going going on for so long that this was ice cubes. Yeah. Was yeah. So this is another way to kind of get a little bit more out of it. And this is another one of those ones where you're kind of all in because once you do it, you've changed the whiskey for good. But yeah. I, I like to, I like to float it on top. I get the spoon down there and I just let it float it over. 
Oh, like that. Yeah, just flip oh, it yeah, over. Yeah. And you can see it get kind yep. of cloudy. Yep. And, and um, this really does. Uh, and what does this, it do? Well, so so anyways. But what this, does it do? Oh, well, I mean, I'm not like an expert on this. I mean, what I, what I, the way that I understand it is, is that the, the, the layer of the water sort of like, <laughs> Uh, creates a layer yeah. over the top of it and that again yeah. kind of like tamps down those alcohol yeah, don't, or you can just get a dropper a water dropper but they sell with uh, mm. some whiskey bars and places and you use what distilled water yeah. correct? I mean yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I mean the, if you want to be really pretentious yeah. use distilled See, I water. I thought we were just doing yeah. Yeah. I mean you could do that no. too. Um, when, but anyway so many but you, uh, you can take the dropper and just <laughs> Do a couple of droppers of water because people it, like to, but it, they say it opens up the flavor. It opens up the flavor so, is the thing that they always say about it. So we'll see if that works. And it does like. I think it does, yeah. Yeah. I've always thought it, it does. It blooms mm -hmm. the aroma a little. You know, it, it, it again, yeah. you know, taps down that alcohol. And then they say that it sort of separates a, an oil layer. It kind of brings yeah. up the fragrant layer to the mm -hmm. top, you know, so. Yeah. If I keep drinking a, this much, I'm going to separate an oil layer. <laughs> When you drink oh, yeah. your whiskey, yeah, you taste it. There was it. something there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, do you hold it in your mouth at yeah. all, or you just? I, I always mean... hold it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you walked until, right into that until one. Until it's time to spit. <laughs> uh, uh, do you spit or swallow when you hold it in your well, mouth? Well, that depends on how much of this I've had. <laughs> That is different doing that. I, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah, that's why I always thought. Oh yeah, I always, oh. I always thought only dicks did I this. I just until... became Mickey Dolan. And yeah, now I am a believer. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you um, you have the Anoa still? No, I switched oh, over yeah. to. Oh, okay. Dumbledore. Here, try, try Dumbledore. The, try the Anoa. Oh, uh, Bunaven. Yeah, Bunaven. Yeah. Yeah. Try that now Dinglehopper. with the in the Dinklehopper. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally different, right? Yeah. Totally different. No, see, what I didn't yep. do Same with this. was this I didn't have the Buddha hopper uh, Buddha before. Hopper. <laughs> Buddha hopper. I just went ahead and put the, the water more we right drink, the, 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 yeah. the more we drink, it's like Buddha banana pepper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, totally different. I'm feeling that. Yeah. Um, <sighs> what you really want to do is you want to try it with the frog. <laughs> frog? <laughs> Laprog. Yeah. Laprock? Yeah. Mm. Give me back the badonka dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this was productive. I do. <laughs> this is gonna be called Badonka Donk for now. Without a doubt, this is the I... best whiskey video on the internet. <laughs> that Hands down seen. right now. Yeah. 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 We have achieved a master class <laughs> levels of whiskey tasting with this video. <laughs> I had that whiskey right in the back of my throat when you said that. Now it's coming out my eyeballs. Yeah, well that's the um Oh my god. That's the two girls in a cup technique of frying whiskey. <laughs> or, or that's the French French technique part two. <laughs> part two. Alright. Well, from the three drunks, really yes. informative. Informative. I learned and something. <gasps> you did. I did. Um, he does. So he never says that. We'll have to do this again sometime. Happy whiskey drinking. Happy whiskey drinking. Don't drink screw off whiskey. That's mm -hmm. our advice. Yeah. Praise the Lord and, and always have money for bail. Cheers. Cheers.